Hezbe Islami is an extremist group led by Golbuddin Hekmatyar. It was founded in the late 1970s and it has waged an insurgency here in Afghanistan. Since then, tens of thousands of people have been killed. But the group has signed a peace deal with the Afghan government. And Amin Karim is the man who negotiated that deal. And he spoke to TRT World. So how did you negotiate this peace deal? Hizb Islami Afghanistan has a sole high pitch. Hizb Islami Afghanistan in the past had reached a conclusion that the continuation of war in Afghanistan is a lose-lose situation for both the nation of Afghanistan and the international community. Therefore, this party, with its own initiative, since the year 2010, submitted proposals to the government of Afghanistan to find a peaceful solution for the country. But why now? More than 95% of foreign troops have left our country. Our holy war was for the purpose of maintaining our country's sovereignty and independence. And since there are less than 10% of foreign troops left in our country, we believe the best way to reach our goals is the peaceful and lawful way. Hence, the only factor which ended with the successful negotiation was the pull-out of more than 90% of foreign troops from the country. And we believe that the remaining troops should also leave our country peacefully when we are able to establish a strong and stable government, so that there should not be need for presence of foreign troops anymore. The stated aim of the Taliban is to fight until there are no more foreign troops in Afghanistan, much like Hezb Islami. So do you think, though, the Taliban should follow suit and uh, broker a peace deal with the Afghan government? There is no religious argument legitimizing the war with our own military and people only for pushing out the very limited number of foreign troops. Well, speaking about security, most of the people killed uh, are not foreign forces, they're Afghani civilians. Uh, so tell me what's gone wrong security-wise in this country? Unfortunately, the situation of Afghanistan from the military point of view because of existence of foreign troops has gone worse day by day. If you consider the death rate since 20 years, you would see that it is increasing day by day. Of course, this also had a lot of side effects, such as increasing the problem of narcotics. And during the past years, three million people have become addicted. So today the cultivation, production and smuggling of narcotics is the biggest enemy of Afghan youth, besides the war. As far as the war goes on, a generation of Afghan youth will be lost. As part of this peace deal, Hekmatyar gets immunity. Now, a lot of Afghanis that we've been speaking to are not very happy about this. Uh, they say he's a murderer responsible for the deaths of thousands of people. What would you say to the people of Afghanistan? Hizb Islami Afghanistan is more than anyone else in Afghanistan. Hizb Islami Afghanistan has not asked for immunity more than others. And those who are speaking about this issue have given immunity for themselves that we were not even agreeing on. We are supporting a fair and just trial, meaning that the implementation of justice should be just itself. So what is the future of Hezb Islami, politically speaking, now? The political analysts believe that Hezb Islami makes at least 30% of the population. 
So, if a transparent election is held in the country, the rule of Hizb Islami for the unity of nation, ethnics and languages would be central and significant. Hizb Islami, besides struggling many problems and the war during the past 15 years, it has the largest parliamentary group within the Afghan parliament. So will Hezbo Islami run a candidate in the coming presidential elections? When we enter into the political competition, every door is open and everything is possible.